All right, guys, we have some breaking news for the Texas Rangers as a lot of stuff uh, came out today for the Rangers. So first off, Jose Leclerc will need Tommy John this year and he'll miss the entire 2021 season. I was skeptical that uh, Leclerc might need Tommy John after I heard the severity of his injury. So this really sucks for the Rangers since he was going to be either our closer or our eighth inning um, guy this year. Um, but if we think further into the future, it might hurt the Rangers' uh, trade value whenever they might want to trade Jose Leclerc. Um, so let's just hope for a speedy recovery with Leclerc. I mean, right now, Matt Bush um, and Ian Kennedy are going re to replace um Little clerk, if they're also going to re replace Hernandez. Hernandez is not out for the entire year, so that's good. However, his injury is still scary because it was a UCL sprain, and a lot of people that have had UCL sprain have gone on to have Tommy John. But luckily for the Rangers, um, Ian Kendi and Matt Bush have pitched really well in spring training. So, yes, the blow of Leclerc and Hernandez is definitely significant. However, I think that Kennedy and Bush can definitely pick up the slack. I mean, could you imagine what the Rangers bullpen would be like if they had uh, Bush, Kennedy, Leclerc, Hernandez, and even if we kept Rafael Montero, but I get um, why we trade him, that this bullpen could be um, pretty nasty. Now, moving on to Rugen and Odor, it has been announced that the Rangers um, do not have Ruben and Odor making the opening day roster for the Texas Rangers. So the Rangers designated him for assignment. And basically this comes down to um, the Rangers thought that um, what he did in spring training um, was going to translate to um, all of his other um, previous years where he struggled in the MLB. They liked what he did at third base. Uh, that wasn't the problem. It's just that they didn't believe that him being on a bench roll would have been best for the Rangers, and they don't believe it would have been best for Odor. That's why they parted uh, ways. And then again, he struggled for the past um, two to three years now. He's been one of the worst second basemen in the MLB. And this definitely shows that the Rangers are not afraid to uh, make moves as they traded Elvis Andrews already this off season and now they got rid of Odor. Um, but it also shows that they're um, willing to accept the youth movement. So now the um, options at third base are Charlie Culberson and Brock Holt. Both have been told that they're making the opening day roster for the Rangers. So I'm assuming that there's gonna be some sort of um, platoon there. You'll see Culberson against some lefties and then you'll see Brock Holt um, get the start against righties. That's what I assume. And they'll um, hold that spot until um, Josh Young is ready to go, maybe around the midway point this year. But getting back to Ruben and Odor, he did everything he could with um, the Texas Rangers. Um, they liked his worth, work ethic. Um, even after the Rangers said, we need to prepare for utility role, Ruben and Odor did that to the best of his abilities. It's just that he hasn't um, performed um, in the recent years. And the Rangers didn't believe that he would perform um, this year as a starter. And they um, didn't think that um, inconsistent at-bats, if he played on the bench, they didn't believe that that would help out Odor um, either. So now, since he's been de designated for assignment, the Rangers have seven days to either trade him um, or they could run him through waivers. But then again, if a team doesn't pick him up, it's not like the Rangers can outright him because he'll just... Um, decline the outright assignment and then he'll become a free agent or they can just release him. Um, so Odor is definitely not going to be part of the Rangers organization in 2021. I wish Odor um, the best. I mean, he did give the Rangers a really cool moment whenever he punched Jose Bautista. Um, but other than that, I think the his um, punch was really one of the biggest highlights of Odor's career in the Rangers uniform. I mean, he he does have a bunch of power, but he strikes out a good amount, um, and he plays solid defense, so he could provide um, second base to a team, but also he could provide a little bit of third base to another team. 
Um, Evan Grant um, on Twitter said the Orioles might make sense. So we'll just see what happens with Rugnet Odor. But yeah, that just about wraps up the video. Um, please give it a like if you like the video. And I need you guys to share um, this channel with all of your friends, family, and everybody who likes the Texas Rangers. I greatly appreciate that. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.